what is going on YouTube, Bill Kibaki here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I will be showing you how to install the latest PS3 HAN on your PlayStation 3 using the firmware HFW 4.89. So this is for the latest update 4.89 and I will be using the latest HFW 4.89.1. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So here are a few things that you will need. You will need the charging cable for your PS3 controller. So that's the USB charging cable for your controller because we will need to enter the PS3 recovery mode. Secondly, make sure that you have a USB drive anywhere from around 500 megabyte to one gigabyte. Let's go ahead and begin now. So what you need to do is get the latest um, HFW firmware from the exploit team website. So let's head over there. So here is the website. The link for this will be in the description. What we're going to do next is click right here where it says 4.89.1 HFW. So click it it's going to take you over to PSX Place. And here we have one of the developers, Jason Borowski. Shout out to Jason Borowski as well. So what we're going to do is just click right here that says um, download now. And you will get to this um, media fire page. Click download and you can start downloading the file. Once you have the file on your computer, go ahead and locate it. So this is the file right here. So we're just going to go ahead and extract it. Okay, so here is the file extracted, extracted inside this folder here. So we're going to enter it. So once you're inside this folder, you will see the ps 3 updatepub and you will see the MD5 um, check right here. So we can go ahead and verify that this um, update file is exactly what it is. Okay, just to be sure. So what you can do is go back here and go over to MD5 hash checker. The link will be in the description as well. So you can click here and you have to just search for the file that you want to check. So we're going to check the update file. So here's the update file. We're going to click it, click open. Okay. Once that's loaded, we are going to go back to PSX place right here. And this is the MD5 check file, check file number. We are going to copy it, go back over to the checks website, and we are going to paste it then click compare and as you all can see everything verified okay okay so this is just an extra step if you guys want to be careful okay so make sure that it it checks out perfectly fine so we are going to close down the web page and right here we have our update file so what we're going to do is just go ahead and insert our USB into our computer then right click, go to format, make sure that it, it says FAT32 right here. Make sure that you have it on FAT32. Click start. This will erase everything on your USB. This will take everything off. It's going to format it completely. So just click format and it's going to erase everything. Format complete. We can close this, right click properties and as you all can see it says FAT32. So now we're going to go inside this USB drive. We, go, we are going to create a new folder. We're going to call it PS3. Inside that folder we are going to create another one and call this one update. Make sure that it's all caps. Go inside the update folder. Now go back and grab your update file. So we are going to copy, go back over to your USB, 
and we are going to paste it right there okay so the file has been copied over to our USB drive so if we can go back we can check to make sure everything is okay so enter the USB drive PS3 folder update folder and here we have the file okay so we are going to remove the USB and let's head over to the PS3 okay so now we're on our PS3 you want to go ahead and insert the USB drive into the right USB port I mainly use the right USB port I have no problem when I'm using it so let me go ahead and show you my system information I am on the latest OFW 4.89 this is the latest OFW from Sony so I, I took the update and here it is make sure that you're on the latest um, 4.89 when you're installing the HFW. The developers have mentioned this a long time ago. Okay, so what we're gonna do is plug our charging cable into our PS3 and we're gonna plug it in our controller now. Once you have your charging cable plugged into your PS3 and into your controller, go ahead and turn off the PS3 because we're gonna enter the recovery mode. Again, the developers have mentioned installing the HFW 4.89 or 4. Point whatever. Make sure that you install it in recovery mode. If you try to install it from the update, system update section, sometimes it will work and sometimes it will not. Sometimes you will get this version of, of update is already installed on your system. So to avoid that message, go ahead and turn off your console and let's head to the recovery mode remember you need a usb charging cable for your controller for this to work so make sure that your console is off as you guys can see there's the power button and it's showing the red light so my console is currently off okay so press and hold the power button until the console turns on so press and keep your finger on the power button it will beep okay then it's gonna beep again and then shuts off and that's it it turns right back off now go ahead and press and hold the power button again and it's gonna beep one more time and then two times um, consecutive and then you release there's one there's the other two okay so once you get this message make sure that your USB cable is plugged into your controller and your PS3 press the PS button on your controller then we want to go down to the sixth option that says system update press X then from right here you want to press start and select on your controller at the same time the PS3 will then search the USB, find the update file and start to install it. This way you don't get the message saying that this firmware is already installed on your system. Alright, so we got the HFW 4.89 install. So what we need to do is just log into our user and let's go ahead and show you my system information again. It's going to still say 4.89. It's not going to say 4.89 HFW whatever whatever. It's not going to say that. It's never going to say that. It's just going to show 4.89 just the same. Okay, so the next thing is make sure that you have internet on your PS3. So make sure that you check if you have internet on your PS3. Okay, once you have that, we are going to go over to the internet browser right here. Okay, once you're inside the internet browser, we will need to set up the internet browser. So just follow the steps. So press triangle on your 
PS3 controller, go up to tools, go down to where it says delete cookies. We're going to delete that. Press triangle again, tools, go down to where it says delete search history. Triangle again, tools, go down to delete cache. Press triangle one more time, tools again, and go to home page. And we are going to use a home page. Press OK. Exit the browser. And now enter the browser again. Okay, now we're going to press start on the controller. You want to delete this. And you want to type ps3exploit.com. Press start to search. When you get to this web page right here, you want to go up where it says PS3 HAN. You want to go to HAN installer enabler right here. When you get here, it will download, so let it download. Download complete, press circle. Right here, you want to press triangle on your controller. Go up to, go down to where it says bookmarks and my bookmark add to bookmarks and you want to add this right here press circle press circle and close the browser enter the browser again so when you re-enter the browser you will get to download this again just click do not save now press select button on your controller go to ps3 hen installer do not save again. Click initialize. There you go. Hand installer initialize successfully. Now go down to install hand. There you go. Welcome to PS3 hand. Available 3.1. We're going to press yes. Exit the browser now. You're going to get a download. Just wait until it's finished download complete now press circle wait until it's installed install complete press circle now go all the way over let me show you guys there's no hen right here no n enabler so go all the way over to turn off system and we want to reboot our ps3 and as you all saw, we now have the PS3 HEN logo again. Let me just log into my user. And there you go. We now have enable HEN once again and package manager. Let me just go ahead and enable it. And there we go. So that's it guys, as I showed you, I did it without having any problem whatsoever. Um, I did the browser part, it might look silly or it might take a lot of time, but it works with no error, no fail, no hiccups, nothing. So that's how easy it is to install the latest PS3 HEN on the latest firmware 4.89. So that's it guys. If the video was helpful, give it a like, share the video around and I will see you guys next time.